So hello everyone. Now we are going to discuss about the t-test with the help of example. Here we try to understand the t-test, where it is going to be used, how we are going to conduct the t-test with the help of SPSS and what is its interpretation. You see here t-test is a parametric test, test of difference between two variables meaning that it makes the same assumption about the data as the other parametric test like uh, the both both of the both variables should be independent and are normally distributed have the similar amount of variance so these are the these are the parametric assumption for the t-test so if these things are fulfilled then only we can say yes we can go with the t-test first thing is that one second thing is that when we are going to do the t-test it means we are performing for the two sample there is a two different type of t-test which we can conduct one is called as independent t-test and another one is called as pair t-test one by one we are going to see it if you remember in our chi-square test in our chi-square test both of our variable must be into the uh, what you call as the categorical variables either they both are nominal like gender and education gender and uh, color preference gender or religion gender or uh, a, a, or they are the ordinal either nominal and ordinal or ordinal and ordinal or nominal and nominal but in case of t-test let us talk first about the independent t-test normally we use the t-test with one categorical variable and one continuous variable one categorical variable means it can be the categorical variables of nominal or ordinal one continuous group it can be the like uh, a scale a scale group of like that one one thing which we must remember is in this case one categorical variable must have only two option male and female if it has more than two option then this independent t test will not be applied over there okay so now let us see how we are going to perform for, now i hope you understand what what we are going to perform it we are going to see the test of significance means is there any difference between one nominal or one categorical variable and one continuous variable categorical variables of only two option like male and female like yes and no like uh, one and zero this type of things are there so how we are going to perform it let us take with the help of example here again you have to go to the analyze then uh, let me see take the same example which I used to take like employee data again I am going to say that this employee data is by default available in your SPSS file in your SPSS software whether when you install it you go to the uh, that sample sample folder then you will find this employee data now here how we are going to perform it we have to go to the analyze then we will go to the compare means there here there are the lots, lots of options are there we will going to select the independent sample t-test independent sample t-test now we are going to see uh, like in this case we are going to see that uh, <clears throat> how, how these things are um, <clears throat> so grouping grouping variable and test variable now if you can see here after these things after these things what we will do it we will put the test variable like uh, education label is the continuous variable and gender is the grouping variable so here where is my this one employee data huh. here gender is a grouping variable and education label is the here if you can see here in gender we have to define like male and female or whatever like in this case like how it is defined let me see it from here uh, like a f and m female and male so i will say the same thing group one is f suppose you are writing a female for one male for two or vice versa so you can say the same thing now what we are going to test it we are going to test that is there any significance difference between gender and education label education label in the scale and gender is for that one so here we will click on okay 
now we are going to see the result see, result is there but we have to first we have to see the significance level yes significance level here is below 0 0.05 and as you remember that whenever we are going for the test of significance if the significance level is below 0 0.05 it means this is we are going to reject the null hypothesis it means there is a significance difference between gender and education level getting a point so this is the education level female level mean is this one if you can see here the mean of female is 12.37 14.37 here the f value is there so with the t value is this one and then we can say that yes there is a significant difference between male and female education by with the help of these things now let us move to the another that one so here when we continue it then we will find this result as, as i have shown you 12.37 14.6 <clears throat> so normally how we are doing these things hypothesis and interpretation for the t-test suppose your null hypothesis is there is no relationship exists on one categorical variables like in our case gender and one continuous variable like in case of education label they are independent there is a relationship on one categorical variable and one continuous variable in the population they are not independent there is a so if the value is less than 0 0.05 like in our case it is 0 0.000 so then there is a significance except h1 and the, if the value is more than that it means we are going to accept the null hypothesis this is the meaning of this things another type of t-test is pair t-test you know sometimes we want to test the same variable in two different same variables same data set uh, after two condition like before training after training like before midterm after midterm like suppose there is a training happening to the organization and before training that teacher around 20 teachers are there and the company have seen their attitudes towards the one course or towards the uh, some particular software or towards that there is some software which has launched by the school and that software is not very much uh, convinced teachers are not very much convinced about that one so they want to see their attitude and they will judge these attitude on the scale of one to five and finally there will be a score in the in the numerical form a score is there and then training has happened and after training again this thing is happening this thing is pre-test and post post test so we, we we want to test that is there any difference between change in the attitude before the test and after the test for that things we are going to use the PRT test like suppose these all are the 20 numbers these are the score out of 50 before the training this is a score out of 50 after the training this is score has been developed with the help of Likert scale in 1 to 5 and first person has score is 22 after training these things so is there any difference between them so how to do it this we can do with the help of peer t test then what we will do it we are going to the analyze compare means peer sample t test then let me show you uh, there is a one this example you see here i have already entered the before t-test score these all are the before t-test score 20 teachers and after t-test score and then what to do is go to the analyze analyze then you will uh, see here compare means pair sample t-test in variable one you can simply put the before and in variable 2 click on after t test now in this case just click on ok then you will see the result output output 2 now here before and after t test 20 number is there correlation yes there is a correlation there is a differences in there but we are interested to see this number 0 0.000 it means it is below 0 0.05 it means there is a significant difference between attitude in in the attitude of before the test before the training and after the training so this test is 
important when we are going to see the change in the behavior, change in the attitude, change in the work performance, change in the uh, some different type of things af after training, before training or something like that. So here you can see this is the this is the difference also before training the mean is 28.35 and after training mean is 33.35 and here the t is and the significance is point so we can say yes there is a difference between these two things so i hope this makes sense for you and you can understand this point and this is all about that one and how we are reporting that one on an average faculty members show the great attitudes toward the academics members before here we will write the mean score standard error before the training and after the training and this is going to be accepted which thing is going to be accepted yes there is a significant difference between these two things so i hope you understand the t-test both independent t-test and 